Hey, New Hope, this is Pastor Brian. I hope you're having a great week, that you're able to get out and enjoy the weather that is so nice right now. Enjoy it while you can. Take care of all the final things outside, raking up leaves and yard work and stuff before it gets too cold. Uh, we're also having a very interesting week in our nation, aren't we? And I wanna remind you of something very simple, is that Jesus is still on the throne. He is still king. We can still trust him, no matter what. So one thing about me is that I have never tried sushi. All right, I don't know if you have before, but I've never tried it before, nor do I think I ever want to try it. But yesterday, I was reading about a, a dining experience at some Japanese restaurants. And you can go in and you can use this word, a Japanese word called omakase, or om omakasi. So if I'm butchering it, I'm not saying it correctly in Japanese, please tell me later. But um, anyways, you can go into some Japanese restaurants and you can use that phrase or that word. And basically what it means is this, I leave it up to you. So you go into this restaurant, you use that phrase, I leave it up to you, omakase, and the chef then knows he can cook up and he can create and be uh, as creative as he wants for the dish for you. And you have no idea what it is. Typically, it involves sushi. So that right there tells me I'm probably never gonna try this before, but if you're up for an adventure, go for it. So you don't know what you're getting on to eat that night until it's sitting in front of you. And then the chef gets to explain this is what it is, this is what it's about. So it, it gives them some creativity and you really just sit back and you, you hope and trust that the chef knows what's good for you and that it's gonna be good food. And so I was thinking that that same attitude should and needs to carry over in our hearts towards God, where we can truly say to God, I leave it up to you. I trust you no matter what. Um, Jesus was teaching his disciples how to pray in Matthew chapter six, and I'll read it to you in just a moment. But um, we need to have um, a submissive spirit when we pray. We can pray, we intercede, we tell God what's on our heart, but ultimately we need to sit back and say, God, I leave it up to you. And in Matthew chapter six, when Jesus is teaching his disciples, this is what he says. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. Very familiar um, passage of scripture where a lot of us know what Jesus was saying there. But in this in this prayer, what Jesus is teaching them is say, uh, to to humbly submit yourself before God, pray for your daily needs, pray against temptation, pray for forgiveness. Uh, but there is this tone, this spirit of saying, let your will be done. Um, God, I trust you. God, I want your will be, to be done. I don't wanna be in the way, I don't wanna stand in the way of what you need to do, so let your will to be done. So God wants us to pray. God wants us to intercede and, and go before him with, with prayers and petitions and requests. But we need, we need to also realize that sometimes we don't always know what's best for us or what's best for that situation. So that's when we need to be able to sit back and say, God, I trust you. I leave it up to you no matter what. Even if the immediate is not what we prayed for, not what we asked for, not what we think needs to be taking place. But over time, we're going to see God's will. And so that's what we pray. God, your will be done. And so we pray, we intercede, but then we sit back and we say, God, I leave it up to you. So would you pray with me? Father God, we thank you for your faithfulness, that you are with us, that you are watching over us, that you go before us, you go behind us, you comfort us, you strengthen us in every situation. And God, ultimately, we pray that your will would be done, that we can truly have that submissive spirit and say, God, we, we know and realize that you know what's best for us. So would you have your way, let your will to be done and accomplish what you need to accomplish in our life, in our country, and in our world. We love you and we praise you. And it's in your mighty name we pray, amen. Have a great week, New Hope. Look forward to seeing you this weekend at church.